unknown to most Calcutans, though not to the world, lies a priceless piece of ecosystem fringing the eastern boundaries of the city. It is the East Calcutta wetlands. কলকাতার পূর্ব সাইড এ যে বিশাল জলজমি আছে আপনি সে সম্বন্ধে কিছু বলতে পারবেন প্রশ্ন করবো আপনি কি কলকাতার একদম পূর্ব সাইড এ যে একটা বিশাল জলজমি আছে সেই সম্বন্ধে কিছু বলতে পারবেন Not only does this ecosystem, or rather eco-social system, silently clean the city's sewage, but it also feeds the city dwellers with fresh vegetables and fishes, and happens to be the largest and most efficient natural biological sewage treatment plant, which traps carbon and runs entirely on solar energy. But it is under a relentless assault from real estate development and unregulated industrialization. The oblivion it lies in is dark. Uh, I know East Calcutta wetland is uh, somehow ecologically very important for Kolkata city, but I am not very much aware of the current situation or what is happening. In, uh, okay. Okay. The handful of city dwellers who know of it know it as a garbage dump and abode of mosquitoes. Its invaluable drainage role remains unknown to all, except the researchers, activists, and concerned journalists. It emerges intermittently along the 21-kilometer arterial Eastern Metropolitan Bypass that separates it from the crowded concrete structures of Kolkata, bereft of any signpost indicating its presence, let alone its unique significance. The East Calcutta wetlands, also known as the East Kolkata wetlands, are a complex of natural and human-made wetlands lying east of the city of Calcutta, West Bengal, in India. The wetlands cover 125 square kilometers, comprising salt marshes, salt meadows, sewage farms, and settling ponds that help treat Calcutta's sewage and sustain fish farms and agriculture through recycled nutrients. The name East Calcutta Wetlands was coined by Dr. Dhruva Jyoti Ghosh who reached this incredible but neglected part of the city, searching the answer to a question. What exactly happens to the city sewage? Many years ago, local fishermen of this area transformed this wetland area into an ensemble of fish ponds, about 300 in number. These ponds are technically described best as oxidation ponds. And in tropical countries, these oxidation ponds are the best option for sewage treatment that science provides. The ECW is a model for multi-use resource recovery system with activities like PC culture and agriculture. আমাদের এই ফিশারির আয়তন হচ্ছে আপনার এই এম পাইপ আর মেল্ট্রোপলিটন হয়ে সল্টলেকের গা থেকে চার নম্বর ফিশারি আছে ওখানে নিউ টাউন অ্যাকোটিক পার্কে থেকে শুরু করে ওখান থেকে লেদার কমপ্লেক্স হয়ে এদিকে এদিকে সোনারপুর হয়ে এখান থেকে 
फिर एखान घूरिए चले आसते गड़िया गड़िया एम एम बी पास हो तृणमूल भवन पोल थे शुरू कर ब्रिज आज एखान लागोआ समस्त जलाशय जलाशयो बहुदिन कले जलाशय और ये समस्त जलाशयो सब मैला जल्द निर्भर कर मस चाष है कलकता लाइक अदर सीज इन इंडिया एंड एल्सवेर इन एशिया इज एक्सपैंडिंग रैपिडलि population in the metro and its suburbs rose by as much as 55% to 14 million in 2011 from 9 million in 1981 according to the latest census the entire city's soluble waste is disposed into the raw sewage canals which finally drains into the shallow flat bottom fish ponds called peri These sewage fed fisheries act simultaneously for the purification process like coliform reduction as well as fish production at a commercial scale. The khali choke jeta mone hocche age ar ekhon kar dekhar moddhe oi jagar ayoton ta kome jacche. Bujhe jacche jola jolo eta eta ottonto kharap. Ebo ei ta amader ecosystem er jonne bachiye rakhar jonne ei jola jomi ta The East Kolkata wetlands host the largest sewage-fed aquaculture in the world, and have been designated a wetland of international importance under the Ramsar Convention on August 19, 2002. West water is 95% water and 5% fecal matter. Fecal matters are housing estates for bacteria. As waste water enters a pond, bacteria meets algae that is phytoplankton. Algae releases oxygen which bacteria needs and bacteria respirates carbon dioxide which algae needs. Thus algae and bacteria develop a symbiotic relationship each helping the other to grow rapidly. This means the pond has a good population of algae which is grazed upon by fish which is finally eaten by humans whereas the bacteria degrades the fecal matter into gas and inert sediments Amazingly for a sprawling city of its size the cost of sewage treatment is cheapest in the world due to the wetlands on its eastern fringes it is also virtually unnoticed that the carbon footprint of the food the city consumes is minimal because some 50% of the vegetables and fish are produced right in the backyard at startlingly low costs Estimates show that about 10,000 tons of fish is produced in the Peris every year and 150 tons of vegetables are supplied daily to the city's markets. For all its usefulness, the Kolkata wetlands face a dwindling future from the land sharks and unplanned dirty industrialization of the two filling up the large fish ponds locally known as peris and building on them present the greater danger kuch apni purbo kolkata jalo jomi sambandhe kichu bolte paro amaderke bolo shob flat niye basto jala jomi kotha ache dada ekhon kotha jala jomi kotha o nei dada The hunger for land for real estate development exerts a relentless pressure on this unique ecosystem. After the decision to extend Salt Lake City by converting more wetlands in the area, a public interest litigation (PIL) by Public, a city-based NGO, saved the wetlands. by a landmark judgment of justice uc banerji of high court of calcutta it is unique even among the world's most prized wetlands 
in its sustainable symbiosis with the metropolis. A law bearing new constructions on the wetlands, which entered its 10th toothless year last month, has not disordered property developers. The instances are too many to be denied. In Kharki village, near Bantala, in the wetlands, a 29 bigha, about 10 acres berry, is being slowly filled up. Kharki is right now far from any residential developments along the bypass, but the situation could very well change in 5 to 10 years. Most of the time, the authorities are reduced to filing police complaints when any illegal construction is brought to its notice. The tendency of filling marshes for habitation is only natural beside a big city. Ghosh cites the example of training and filling up the salt lake, once the northern portion of the wetlands, to establish a planned suburb in the 60s. But a balance has to be struck, says the engineer turned ecologist. As the situation on the ground stands right now, that precious balance seems to be missing. What also rises the aware citizens is the illegal mushrooming of plastic recycling and leather processing units on land which were a few years ago fertile vegetable gardens. Over 50 plastic recycling units have sprung up in recent times. On the stretch towards Bantala, more than 25 leather processing units boil leather wastes emitting noxious fumes. It is then spread to dry and subsequently shipped to tea gardens as manure. Leather units release effluents into the sewage canals that feed the berries. It harms the fish. There are also 5,000 local rag pickers who manually recycle Kolkata's solid waste at Thapa, the city's garbage dump in the wetlands, a daily effort that is laudable. Violence is never too far away in the wetlands, where laws of the land are often observed only in the breach. The steady enroachment on the wetlands worries the communities that have been living here for generations. More than 120,000 residents, many of them vegetable farmers and fisher folk, are providing a useful service to the city. They cannot be wished away and we need to preserve them to ensure our own existence. Shrinking it drastically to build houses is only inviting trouble, experts say. In the end, if the East Kolkata wetlands are to be saved in a meaningful way, there has to be a heightened public awareness that the city sorely needs the wetlands for its own survival. Yeah, this is
very important for our day to day life. For species we eat, we are the Bengali people. জলায়ুমি লিপ্ত হয়ে যাওয়ার জন্যই তো মাছের সংকেত দেখা দিয়েছে ওকে উই আর মেকিং আ ডকুমেন্টারি অন ইস্ট ক্যালকাটা ওয়েটল্যান্ডস ওকে সো উড ইউ বি এবল টু টেল আস সামথিং अबाउट নাথিং ইউ আর হ্যাভিং নাথিং টু সে আজ ইউ আর হ্যাভিং নো কনসেপ্ট অ্যাট অল রিগার্ডিং দ্যাট পার্টিকুলার ইস্যু ওকে আফটার লং পিরিয়ড ইউ হ্যাভ মেড টুগেদার ইউ আর গুড ফ্রেন্ডস সো প্লিজ If the people are indifferent, Kosh asks, what hope can be there for the wetlands? Ah, sí.